Uh, thanks for the invitation from the uh, organization committee. And I am senior from Beijing Normal University. Uh, today, I will talk about the uh, open science for functional connectomics, uh, particularly focusing on increasing diversity. Um, I put my GitHub and the university links here, uh, and you can find more details of data resources mentioned in this presentation. Uh, so here is the uh, uh, here is the, uh, the country of interest. Basically, nothing to disclose. Uh, disclose, and I would be uh, happy to share this presentation with you guys. Uh, so almost thirteen years ago, uh, as a postdoc, I, I, I it was lucky for me to join in the uh, one thousand functional connector uh, team. Uh, lead by Dr. Milham Biswo and also uh, uh, Castellanos. Uh, the international team collected uh, uh, 1,347 uh, breast and stem pharma data sets. Um, and that, that uh, from, from 30, 33 sites in the world and shared, the, uh, shared it to the public. Um, in the seminal paper, uh, the team demonstrated the feasibility of uh, discovery science of, of whole membrane function, uh, also naming uh, functional connectomics. And, uh, uh, as you guys already know, uh, some of you may already used a uh, lot of these data. Uh, and uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, there's a, a, a human connectome project launched by NIH. And uh, uh, this is a very uh, uh, big uh, data sharing project. And uh, uh, based on this data, um, the team already uh, uh, generated a multimodal parcellation of human uh, cerebral cortex. And also the data uh, set now already cover the whole lifespan of whole membrane. And uh, so uh, based on the uh, 1000 functional of connectum project and uh, uh, the team uh, also extended into a uh, international neuroimaging data sharing in initiative and in in 2000 in 2018 uh, the team made a assessment of the impact of uh, this shared brain imaging data on the uh, scientific literature and this data uh, this data that include NKR rockland uh, NKR rockland sample and, and also the healthy brain network ADHD 200 uh, abide and also the uh, uh, consortium for reliability and reproducibility. And uh, basically, uh, uh, the findings indicate that uh, the, the big data sharing uh, increased increase the uh, scale of studies and also made broader uh, disciplines to work together uh, uh, and part under the uh, the people using the data to publish high impact papers and also accelerated this you know the uh, the, the the piece of science and um, uh, to encourage people to share the data universally uh, the, in, in a similarly uh, similar uh, when um, the uh, HCP team also, uh, in this year, uh, did a, uh, a review, a very nice review about the HCP data use, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, this is all the uh, different uh, brain uh, uh, data sets the uh, uh, you know uh, extended by the uh, HCP uh, protocols, and also. Uh, 
uh, you can see the uh, public, the number of publications uh, is uh, increased rapidly. And but uh, all these uh, uh, large scale neuroimaging samples uh, include almost universally uh, European or American. Uh, you know this uh, this call this is calling for uh, increasing diversity of the data sharing and also uh, to to indicate the importance uh, of improving diversity equality and inclus uh, inclusivity within data data science and uh, uh, in i think this this paper is in 2015 and the PNC team already showed, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, human cortical surface robustly predicts a individual's genetic ancestry, despite that population have been shaped by waves of migrations and admixture events. So this indicates uh, the importance of increasing the diversity of data sharing. So in the uh, in the remaining part of my presentation, I will introduce uh, the uh, some major uh, progresses in the data sharing uh, from China, and the first one is uh, is called Consortium for Reliability and Reproducibility, uh, uh, released more than five thousand data sets um, from. 18 sites across the uh, across the world, and uh, most of them uh, we are you know located in China. And uh, after that, uh, we uh, proposed the through our brain consortium, and uh, this uh, is a brain consortium for reproducibility, reliability, and the re replicability. And uh, there will be uh, uh, more than 1,000 data set uh, released in future, and you know, the total uh, the total scanning time is is more than uh, you know is more than 10,000 hours of uh, you know MR scanning. And so there's another, uh, there's another uh, cohort from China. Is uh, it is it, it, it is named Chinese Human Connectome Project. Uh, this project we call it CHCP. Uh, is uh, you know comparable uh, uh, to the HCP project, and you know including. Uh, uh, genetics measures, genetics measures, behavior measures, and MEG measurements, and also uh, the multi-model uh, MR data, uh, just uh, similar to the HCP uh, had. Uh, so uh, the uh, uh, it, it is it is very important to uh, the CHCP included the uh, identical uh, functional FMR tasks uh, as indicated in the uh, right side. So the, uh, basically uh, we found, you know, the uh, large scale brain parcellation uh, are very uh, consistent, consistent across the two different cultures uh, as indicated in the Left side, the uh, uh, the uh, com, uh, widely used the seven net seven network oscillation, uh, you know, proposed by uh, Thomas Hill and Randy Buckner, and also uh, the uh, brain atom oscillation proposed by uh, Tian Zijiang team. But interestingly, the uh, you know the uh, morphological differences uh, shown up between the two different cultures. And uh, 
uh, also, uh, you know, the language task activations demonstrated the uh, most significant, uh, mo uh, the largest effect uh, size between the two uh, different, you know, the two data sets. And there's another one uh, uh, is called Chinese Imaging Genetics Consortium. Uh, this is a consortium contain more than 10,000 uh, Chinese adults. And uh, uh, this one has been uh, used uh, to, uh, to investigate the global obesity uh, as well as uh, its association with brain and behavior in young people across China and uh, Europe by using the uh, by using the immigrant and the, uh, the C, uh, Chinese immigrant. And the four uh, psychiatry disorders, uh, they are, there is a large scale uh, consortium called Resting, Resting State, Rest Meta MDD. This consortium contains neuroimaging data from uh, 1,300 depressed patients and uh, 1,128 uh, 1, normal controls from 25 research groups in China uh, forming the uh, largest MDD resting state of data dataset in the world. And by now, there, there are uh, 189 international research groups already applied the data uh, uh, to analyze. Uh, another one, we, another meta cohort is REST meta PD. Uh, REST PD, uh, REST meta PD consortium includes uh, neuroimaging data uh, from 850 you know, PD patients and uh, 483 normal controls collected from you know, 20 research centers in the world. And we use the data to demonstrate and you know, for small sample size, uh, small sample size uh, studies, uh, the small p-values may not need robust findings, uh, you know, indicating the uh, importance of sharing the data across different groups. So for uh, brand development data, we had uh, a uh, children's school function and brand development cohort. This cohort is initiated in Beijing, so we call it CBD Beijing cohort. Uh, you know, this, uh, by now, uh, this cohort already uh, collected more than, you know, 800 uh, 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 subjects, and some of them already are followed up for two to four times. And this is, this uh, cohort is, on, uh, is ongoing. And uh, you, by, uh, based on this data, uh, uh, you know, uh, the team, the CBD Beijing cohort team already uh, you know, built up the Chinese pediatric brain template, uh, aged from six to 12 years old, and also build the uh, uh, template for task activation and the uh, diffusion uh, MRI imaging data set. And compare it is interesting to uh, to see that uh, there are, there are significant differences between these uh, you know templates between the Chinese population and the uh, U.S. population, which is based on the uh, Anker Rockland sample from uh, the FCP. And the last one I want to introduce is the uh, Chinese Color Nest Consortium. And uh, the, uh, this is a uh, lifespan uh, accelerated longitudinal brain mine cohort. 
Uh, this is the accelerated uh, three stages of uh, accelerated launching a cohort. Uh, the first one is developing stage, and the uh, the second we call the maturing uh, stage, and the la uh, the third one is aging uh, stage. So for each site, we rec recruited one thousand five hundred twenty subjects. And uh, you know they will be uh, performed across fifty sites in China. So by now we already got the uh, uh, got the two sites uh, developing stage data set. Uh, one is we call uh, one is collected uh, from Southwest University uh, in Chongqing. Another we collected it from uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing. Totally, we have 480 subjects. So the first thing we do, uh, we, done, we have done is to uh, uh, build up the uh, brand templates for, you know, for, all the, uh, uh, for all the children, for the school age children and adolescents. You know, age span from six to eighteen years old, and we can see a, a clearly difference in morphological uh, in morphology of the brain between uh, between China and uh, the uh, U.S. But uh, it, from the large scale brain tissue volume, uh, their developmental trajectories uh, basically. Uh, very similar, um, uh, as indicated in the right side. But if we look into the uh, very small areas, as indicated here by the uh, small parcel, uh, you know, uh, of the cerebral cortex, uh, here the uh, uh, the the color indicates the uh, shape differences in brain growth curves between uh, US and uh, China. So we can, uh, you, we can clearly uh, see the, uh, uh, for the uh, primary uh, areas, such as the uh, uh, visual network area, area uh, here as indicated, as indicated by the arrow, uh, the uh, growth curves basically uh, parallel to each other uh, means you know the uh, development the development uh, uh, parallelly uh, but for high level associative areas such as here is a pre uh, media prefrontal area uh, this one uh, demonstrates very different um, uh, growth curves between the two culture be, uh, the culture backgrounds and the uh, the most distinct uh, you know uh, shape uh, appearing around the uh, uh, property area. So these uh, the uh, these findings indicate uh, the importance of increasing diversity in uh, in data sharing and also the scientific. Uh, uh, scientific uh, experimental design and you know sampling. So, so this uh, this one uh, is you know led by the Cambridge team. Uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, this is a international brain charter consortium and they include uh, you know more than uh, more than you know one. 123,000 data set and to, uh, uh, you know to try to build up a, uh, a lifespan brand development chart and uh, based, based, uh, based on these large scale uh, data set across the lifespan uh, you know the team uh, uh, charted the uh, uh, brand, brain development across the lifespan 
uh, you know, regarding to different brand tissues, you know, these, these growth charts uh, really uh, means uh, some values for uh, future translations into uh, uh, monitoring the uh, uh, individual brand development and help uh, the psychiatry and also educational translations. So finally, I want to thank all the funding support data sharing. Uh, uh, you know, you can visit the the uh, the, uh, the Chinese data resources I mentioned in the presentation from this side, uh, and also uh, all the web links to to them. Uh, I already included in the uh, uh, presentation. And finally, I want to thank all the uh, principal investigators of this brain data resources uh, for their openness to sharing uh, the data and also provide uh, the slices materials for the presentation. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So okay. Uh, yeah. So, so the presentation is smoothing. Uh, I worried some interruptions. You know, during the connect uh, due to the co connection. No, the internet was fine, and we could follow very well your presentation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for this really, really impressive uh, set of open data sets that you have. It's really <laughs> amazing. And mm -hmm. I would like to ask, is this uh, available in bits, in bits standard or is it mm, it's not yet converted to a standard? Most of these, most of these uh, uh, Chinese uh, brand data resource already available in, uh, to visit. And some of these, uh, uh, you know, you can uh, still in go, uh, ongoing, and you can send emails to ask the uh, PI to, uh, to uh, for the data. And but most of them already uh, uh, online. This is awesome. And is the format in bits? Do you know the brain imaging data structure? Oh yeah. Some, for example, for. Uh, uh, Chinese color nest, uh, you know, built by my team, uh, which is already uh, in the uh, standard format, as Thomas mentioned, that the, you know, such as uh, the uh, B's formats. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, because okay. this will facilitate the pre processing and all the analysis, having everything yeah. in, in one data format, as also Thomas and Michelle were mentioning. like. There are so many standard uh, formats that having something to understand between all the teams is, it makes things easier. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. I okay. Thank from, you. From from the from the participants would like to ask something something else. Okay. Yeah. Because we are a bit uh, late. There is a link to go to the social break. I don't know if. There's there would be people there yet because it was from eight to quarter to eight, and then we'll have to start the hands on session with Patricia. But maybe you can join there for a bit and then start the, the hands on session. Thank you, okay. thanks a lot. I, I, the, I, I have shared the, the link, yeah. Sam has shared the link because I only share it for the participants. Okay, let me, let me try if I can visit the link because you know there, there are some limitations uh, from China. I I really think ah oh, okay okay China has some restriction for some. Social yeah, I yes I, I I can't visit this link. You know the social break. I click it, but uh, you know. Yeah, it's banned for yeah. <laughs> so, for some countries, when we try to for me, yeah, for me it is very lucky. I mean, I I finally made the presentation. You know, I tried many times. Yeah, well, 
uh, still the hands-on session will start soon. So maybe it's time for okay. you to take a glass of water and go to the bathroom or whatever you need and join in, in a few minutes. Thank you, thank you. Everybody. Okay, thank you. I will stop uh, sharing. All your, all your presentations and for being okay. like, yeah. Thank, thank you. Michelle, Xinian, and Thomas that had to left. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. See you.